Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacy, and I'm so happy to see you here today. If you are new to my channel, I am a weeb, I am a geek, I am a nerd, I am a Twitch streamer, I am a world traveler, and I love learning new things. And so the entire purpose of my channel is for me to broaden my horizons in the realm of music and listen to songs, bands, and artists I've never heard before. And so today we are continuing our Pink Floyd journey and we are listening to a song called Sorrow. And now this song has been highly recommended along with so many other Pink Floyd songs. And I promise I will be getting to all the Pink Floyd songs in the future. But for now, we're gonna take a look at Sorrow and I'm really excited to dive into Pink Floyd again today. I, I love their music. They make me feel so many different emotions and feelings that I've never really felt before when it comes to music. So I'm just ecstatic that I get to explore more of them today. So just a little disclaimer before you begin, I am not a musically trained person. I have very limited knowledge with music. I'm just going off of how I feel, uh, what I see, and what I originally think when I do these reactions. I am not analyzing the music in a technical way as I do not have the background or training to do that. So please keep that in mind as I am reacting and as I'm giving my commentary to these videos. And remember guys, if you like my content, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps growing content creators like me. So without further ado, let's get into the reaction. I'm also super pumped to listen to a song performed at the Pulse concert again. I have been loving watching segments of this concert. You know, I've, I've seen Comfortably Numb, I've seen On the Turning Away, I've even seen The Great Gig in the Sky performed at the Pulse concert, and I've just been loving, I've been loving this concert. It's such a wonderful show. So let's see what it's all about this time. Let's keep going. The crowd. I love how colorful the stage gets. Wow. 
smell of great sorrow lies over the land. Blooms of smoke rise, merge into the leaden sky. A man lies in dreams, in green fields and rivers. Wow. But wakes to a morning with no reason for waking. <laughs> the drummer the jumping. That's cool. You for a dream. He can't be precise. He's changing forever to a world that's departed. It's not enough. It's not enough. I'm sorry, the drummer <laughs> jumping is really funny. I didn't know he had to do that in order to make the sounds that he needs to play. That That's pretty good. He has some athletic ability. I see that vertical. Wow. The things you have to do to make amazing music. This song is really cool. The intro was really captivating. I didn't really know what was going to happen. I felt like the intro was keeping me on my toes and I was anticipating something. And when the music finally came, it was like a, like kind of a big relief. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, with the lights and everything, it was, it's truly epic. It really sucks you in and makes you pay attention. You know, time and time again with Pink Floyd's music and their performances, they really do things at the beginning of songs to like suck you in and keep you in the moment and make you like tune everything else out and make you focus on the song that they are about to play and it's so masterful and awesome like I, I feel like that's a rare thing because how hard is it to make people stop what they're doing to pay attention to you and to the song that you are about to play they do it masterfully and they've done it multiple times now and this song is not an exception I love how that I love how they did the whole intro so let's keep going Swirling the tears 
now. good I've I've really never have had music speak to my soul or feed my soul for that matter this this was phenomenal Pink Floyd again just so amazing and every every aspect the instrumentals the singing even the lights just Oh my gosh, the intro. I can't get over that intro and that guitar solo at the end. Oh my God, just phenomenal and brings tears to my eyes. It is just so good. And there's there's songs just feed my soul. Like I said before, it's just, I've never known that I've needed their music till now. And I'm so happy I do because it just, it makes me feel things I've never felt before. Or it makes me feel like, I've and I've let music enter my soul and I didn't even know I needed that. So it's awesome. It's really good. <laughs> Lovely. I need to clean up for a bit. Hold on. I cannot believe that solo. It was absolutely incredible. This may have been one of my favorite guitar solos from Pink Floyd that I have seen and heard thus far. It was just unbelievable. Like the guitar work that David is able to do is so amazing and legendary like I've never had an instrument impact me like this like it just brings me to tears like even thinking about it I'm about to tear up again it's just crazy how impactful his guitar playing is it just makes me feel so many different things again like it's so crazy you know I reacted to a bunch of Pink Floyd songs at this point and a couple a few uh, a good handful have made me tear up and cry and you know you know going into another pink floyd song i'm like I'm, it's not gonna happen again and boy does it does it happen again and it, it just happens unexpectedly it's just all of a sudden a wave of emotion just comes out just totally unexpected but i'm happy it is like it, again i need their music and they feed my soul it's always just a pleasure listening to their music and watching them perform I feel like anybody at the Pulse concert absolutely loved this concert with the lights and the effects and just the whole performance in general. It's just so beautiful. The The standard is so high with Pink Floyd and I wish I would be able to see them live still, but unfortunately I know that it's not possible. But still, I, I love being able to see their performances even from the 90s and they are just the gold standard, I have to say. Like, their music is seriously just beyond words, indescribable at this point. <laughs> and there's nothing like it. The opening of this song was just absolutely perfect. I I feel like I was being transported into a different world and nothing else mattered in the outside world besides what I am hearing and seeing and listening to right now, the music. And that's all that mattered to me in that moment. I was sucked in. I was... All my attention was with the music and I don't know, I just loved it. I loved the intro. It really is kind of indescribable, but it's so captivating and I am a huge fan, man. Like I, I really love that intro a lot. I, I cannot... I feel like I haven't heard anything like that ever. It's just musical perfection. The The entire performance was musical perfection. The, the 
expressions of the band members and how they were performing their instruments and even just the energy they were giving. I mean, David doesn't really need to do much. He plays his guitar and his guitar gives off that energy. But like even the drummer, the drummer like jumping up a few times. I think they had a couple drummers, but that one guy that was jumping up. And <laughs> I love that moment. I love that. I love how hard they were going for this song they're so wonderful with their performance like they are giving everything they have to the crowd which is so obvious like it's amazing how they are so passionate and you could tell like that's part of the reason why i do cheer tear up like i'm witnessing one of the greatest guitarists ever and it's just making me emotional it's like there this guy david is absolutely incredible with his craft and the fact that he can make me feel all these things is just even more incredible and yeah, I'm a total Pink Floyd nerd at this point. I'm really loving them. And it's really hard for me to not just dive into all their songs at once, like off stream or off YouTube or something. But I am taking my time with their songs. And I think it's making it making this experience even better. Just taking my time, digesting the songs one by one. And I'm really loving this experience. I'm really loving this journey. And I'm Loving how I'm realizing music can really impact me in ways I didn't know or realize. This is just such an eye-opening experience and really a breath of fresh air. This song just gave me chills. And yes, I will need to listen to the studio version, absolutely. But it is such a pleasure seeing David and everyone else in Pink Floyd in the moment playing their instrument and seeing how the crowd reacts it's it's so it's so cool and just seeing how they display this song to everybody how they want this song to be portrayed i guess on stage is really interesting i really love the colorfulness of their performance the rainbows and the insane lasers the lights the everything about it and i especially love when it the stage starts looking like heaven like all of these white lights all at once just come at you every time that happens i my jaw just drops and my heart starts fluttering it's so beautiful it happened in comfortably numb too in the performance uh, at pulse and it made my mouth just drop and i will never forget that part of the song it probably was one of my favorite parts of the song and this is no exception either i really love when they do that kind of like heavenly look all the white lights just boom in your face beautiful beautiful it just it's so amazing they seriously transport me to another place when they perform their songs especially at the pulse concert it's so unbelievably good unbelievably good i'm so jealous of anyone who saw pink floyd at the pulse concert seriously like what a treat what a performance just amazing i have nothing but good things to say obviously i just love pink floyd i love what they do to me personally i love what they do to all of you all the comments i read with you guys and your experience with pink floyd is so incredible and I love that we can share our experiences together. And I'm happy I'm able to share my experience with you guys. So thank you all so much for, you know, watching me and seeing me go through this journey. One Pink Floyd song at a time and eventually concept albums. I will totally do a concept album reaction. I definitely think it's needed. So yeah, loving this journey, loving their songs, loving that I'm becoming a fan of bands I did not know before. And now I'm getting to know them and I'm falling head over heels in love with them. So that will do for today's video. Thank you all so much again for watching. If you guys are interested in seeing my other content, please be sure to check out the links in the description box. If you guys are interested in seeing me live on Twitch, I am live right now at twitch.tv slash StacyRPG where you could see moments like this. Uh. Yeah, pass. <laughs> pass, Waka's right there. Okay, we're gonna shoot as soon as we get the ball. We got a little bit. We're a little bit closer! F Come on, don't fumble! Oh my god! Why does he fumble so hard? Oh my god! The link to my Twitch is also in the description box. I also want to give a huge thank you to my patrons. Thank you guys so much for your contributions to my channel and to everything. You guys are the best and I appreciate your support more than anything. And last but not least, if you guys have a song, band, artist suggestion, please either sound off in the comments or join the Discord. I would love to hear what you have to say in there. The Discord is such a good time. We chat all day. We make new friends from all around the world and we just have a ball. So please join the Discord if you guys are interested. The link is in the description box.
So thank you all again so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.